Honourable Member for Arthur Verdon. Madam Speaker, I'm proud to rise today to acknowledge the great work being done in, with, by two chiefs in my constituency, Chief Ken Chalmers of Burtail Sioux First Nation and Chief Vincent Tashin of Sioux Valley Dakota Nation. Chief Chalmers has a new business on the horizon in his community. They are converting an old school in Foxhorn into a new business that will not only profit those on the reserve but the surrounding community. The school is located on Highway 16 on 8.8 .8 acres of reserve land. The plan is to, the plan is to convert the, into a gaming center with bingo, BLTs, a lounge, restaurant, gas bar, and office space for businesses. They have partnered up with the municipality, surrounding churches, chamber of commerce, and fire departments. This business is going to help fund many social projects on their reserves, such as housing, church services, breakfast and lunch programs, house, uh, school expansions. They plan to open their project by the end of 2016 with the plans to add a hotel in the future. This will provide jobs for the people in, on the reserve as well as the people in the surrounding community. Chief Tashin also has a new project on the go. A petrol can is being built on Dakota Nation's land along the highway number one. The construction started in March and has been going very well, hoping to be completed by August, late August. There has been a gas bar as well as a convenience store. This business will provide jobs for 10 people from their community. Madam Speaker, I have Chief Chalmers in the gallery today. It is the vision of these two great chiefs that are, be, are seeing the positive change. Not only does this benefit First Nations people, but in the great for everyone since this opens up doors for the jobs and the economic growth. In the spirits of the recent Truth and Reconciliation Act, it is ideas like this that brings people and communities together in harmony. I applaud these, ch these chiefs on their con contribution to our constituency, province and economy. Thank you, Madam Speaker.